There are different kinds of reports you can write in the Greenlight web application. In this video, we will show you how to write reports for sales, access, cash accountability, and price exception. We will also demonstrate different selection options to customize reports, how to export the data to an Excel spreadsheet, and also how to save reports and run them at a later time. Begin by clicking on the Reports tab and going to Report Writer in the menu. Here you will choose the type of report you want to run and specify the dates you want to use. The first report we will run is Sales. Select Sales from the drop-down menu here. The drop-down menu here will determine how the results are reported. Since we want to see sales history totals for machines, we will select assets from the drop-down menu because machines are known as assets in the application. The next menu selects the sort order of the report. Next, we will decide to group the results by each week. In this report, we will only look at deployed machines. Now you can select the date range for the report. We will look at the month of March. Section 3 allows you to filter the results with one specific element. In this example, we will filter the results for just three machines by clicking the Asset tab and bringing over the three desired machines for the report. Click the machine and hit the arrow button to select an asset for the report. Now you have the option to export the results to an Excel spreadsheet or view the report there in the Greenlight web application. We will select View Report. Here you can sort columns in ascending or descending order by clicking the headers. You can also click on any underlying data to get more information. Use your web browser's print option to print a copy. Double check the scale to include all the information you want in the printout. You can also print from an Excel spreadsheet. Here is how to save the report and run it again at a later time. Save the report by clicking this icon in the upper right hand corner. Name the report over in the text box here on the left. Then click Save. Now the report shows the date when it was last saved. If you leave the page and want to come back and see the report, go to Report Writer, then Saved Reports, and find the report you want in the drop-down menu here. Then click Restore It. You can now view the report as it was originally run. To go back to the Report Writer page, just click Show Options here. The next report we will go through is Cash Accountability Detailed. With Cash Accountability, you can only see results by asset. We'll set the deployed status to Deployed. We will select the month of April for our date range. We will filter just one machine, then view the report. The Detailed Accountability Report provides a lot of information on many different data points, represented by the headers for each column. The Cash Ticket Details video will help you learn more about the information shown. The clickable timestamp in the Date column is the last time the machine was serviced. Clicking on the link will take you to the Cash Ticket Detail page. This page provides more information about the service visit on a given day. Back at the Report Writer page, you can run an Access Report. The Access Report provides information about when a machine door was open for any reason. As long as the door sensor cable connects to the door switch, a timestamp is generated each time a machine door is open. The Access Report gives you a good measure of accountability because you can see if the machine is opened even if it was not scheduled for service. In order to view the entire machine inventory, we will skip the filter section and view report. Sorting by location will help you see when the machines were accessed. It is important to see which machines were opened multiple times on the same day. The column on the right will let you know if the machine was restocked on the corresponding date it was accessed. The last report we will look at here is Price Exception. This report is intended to make sure that all the items in your machine are selling for the intended price. 
A new option under Section 1 allows for you to input the maximum price difference you want to be displayed in the results. The default value is one cent. Since the report is not going to display sales results, the date range fields are grayed out. We will filter the results to show one customer. This report shows all the machines where there is a price difference between the price set in the application and the price set in the machine. Each machine listed in the report will show the items with price discrepancies, the coil location in the machine, the item code, and the item name. The three right-hand columns give the desired item price, the DEX price, and the calculated difference between the two. The desired price is what you want to sell the item for and is set in the planogram for each machine in the Greenlight web application. The DEX price is set at the machine and the value is reported in the DEX file transmitted by the telemetry device. Watch the video on editing the planogram to learn how to match these two prices. For more assistance, contact Vennet at 1-800-833-4411 or email service at vennetusa.com. Thanks for choosing Greenlight.